Hi, I'm Dr. Andrea Hatcher from Olive Branch Park Veterinary Clinic, and this is my pug, Inspector Cluso. Today we're going to talk about Cocker Spaniels. Cocker Spaniels are adorable, long-haired, floppy-eared, medium-sized dogs. There are two types, the American Cocker Spaniel and the English Cocker Spaniel. Not surprisingly, the American version is more popular on this side of the pond, and the English Cocker Spaniel is more common in England. Both dogs are pretty similar, but the American is a smaller dog with a dome-shaped head and shorter muzzle and back than its English cousin. American Cocker Spaniels usually weigh between 24 and 30 pounds, and the taller English Cocker Spaniels have a narrower head and chest and usually weigh between 28 to 32 pounds. The American Cocker Spaniel colors are divided into three categories. One, which is blacks, and this includes the blacks and tans. Number two, ASCOBS, or ASCOBS, which stands for any solid color other than black, including liver and tan. And that is an official American Kennel Club abbreviation. Kennel Club abbreviation. And three, party colors, which are tricolors, and those must be the fun Cocker Spaniels. Cocker Spaniels were bred to hunt woodcocks. At this point, you might be asking yourself, what is a woodcock? I was imagining some sort of woodchucking woodchuck, but it turns out a woodcock is a bird. Cocker spaniels were designed to flush birds into the sky to be shot and then find the birds and carry them back to their owners, like golden and Labrador retrievers do. American cocker spaniels were the most popular dogs in America from 1940 to 1952, and again from 1984 to 1990. This last batch of popularity was bad for the breed. Uninformed backyard breeders and puppy mills inbred dogs, resulting in a number of inherited diseases that continue to plague the breed. Back to that adorable long-haired, long-eared, tail-wagging dog. Step closer and take a sniff. I rarely meet a Cocker Spaniel that I can't smell from a distance. Those fabulous floppy ears prevent fresh air from getting into the ear canals and create a warm, moist breeding ground for bacterial and yeast and ear infections. Some Cocker Spaniels who don't receive adequate and time-consuming and expensive care for the chronic ear infections will develop bony lesions in their ear canal. I can't even imagine how painful that must be. At that point, the only way to treat the pain is to surgically remove the entire ear canal. The dog will still, still have the floppy ear, but when you flip it up, there will be no opening to an ear canal. At this point, the dog is deaf. The smell may also be coming from the skin. Cocker Spaniels are prone to developing a skin disease called seborrhea. This results in a smelly shedding of dry or oily skin flakes. It can't be cured, but it can be controlled with medicated shampoos. Cocker Spaniels also often develop odiferous skin lesions secondary to the seborrhea or allergies. Now on the list of non-smelly diseases that Cocker Spaniels are at risk for, Several eye disorders, which may result in blindness. These are entropian, ectropian, progressive retinal atrophy, progressive rod cone degeneration, glaucoma, and juvenile cataracts. Heart disease, such as dilated cardiomyopathy and sick sinus syndrome. Kidney disease, autoimmune hemolytic anemia, luxating patella, which is bad knees, and hip dysplasia. Finally, the massive buildup in breeding in the 1980s created a disease called Rage Syndrome. Cocker Spaniels are prone to epileptic seizures and Rage Syndrome is a type of epileptic seizure. Instead of succumbing to a violent jerking seizure, a different part of the brain is affected. So a calm, friendly Cocker Spaniel will without provocation suddenly go berserk, biting anyone nearby without recognition, including owners and children. After the seizure, the dog returns to its normal behavior until the next seizure. Some Cocker Spaniels will be aggressive when guarding their food or toys. They also are prone to submissive urination. This means they will greet you enthusiastically every day when you come home from work by urinating on the carpet. I don't want to alienate any Cocker Spaniel owners. Many Cocker Spaniels are wonderful dogs and I wouldn't be able to pay my bills without them. Just make sure that you are making an informed decision before choosing this breed. Cocker Spaniels require a lot of time for daily grooming and exercise and a lot of money set aside for medical care.